Bad news is your daughter is probably a goer. But the good news is the definition of goer has changed in the last few weeks with the launch of the new Pokemon Go game app. That's right, Doug. The worst thing she'll bring home to dinner is the data overage bill and the family plan. Today, we're celebrating human stupidity with Doug and Dan's five dumbest Pokemon Go player stories. Now, Dan, number one is a quick one, but I think you can relate. You have one of those hoverboard things, right? You betcha, Doug. Well, look at Lance Stewart here from his vlog channel on YouTube. He decides to Pokemon Go headfirst into oncoming traffic. Oh my. That's right, Dan. He must have thought those cars were Rhyhorns, ripe for the catching. Well, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. He couldn't be that dumb, right? I don't know, Doug. He is a man wearing a necklace. Hey, check out this preview of the new episode of Walking Dead. I love that show. Just kidding, Dan. Number two on our list is a horde of real-life adults playing Pokemon on their phones. That's actually a little bit scarier. I agree, Dan, but it turns out there was a Vaporeon in the park. A rare water Pokemon. I hear that a homeless man caught the Pokemon before the crowd could get there. Homeless? Well, what kind of phone did he have? An iPhone 6 Plus, Dan. That's actually why he's homeless. He couldn't afford it. <laughs> How do you get this information? Stupid story number three is dedicated to all you single guys out there. It seems Pokemon Go got a man caught cheating on his girlfriend with an ex. Now, when you catch a Pokemon, the app will store the GPS coordinates for where exactly in the world that Pokemon was caught. Turns out his girlfriend minds more than her own beeswax and saw he recently caught a few Pokemon at his ex's house. And that's not all he caught over there. Hey, how about we just move on? Suit yourself, Dan. In at number four, we have a couple of guys in Incitinas, California, who walked off a cliff because they were too busy looking at their phones. Now this story seems to be the epitome of stupid because according to the local news, the two had snuck through a fence blocking off a cliff in order to catch their Pokemon. That's right, Dan. Luckily, people with jobs arrived and helped them back up to safety. They did fall approximately 75 to 100 feet, suffering only minor injuries other than the heavy emotional damage of being the worst Pokemon trainers in town. They never did catch that polywag, Dan. Doug, that's a shame, but we gotta end the list here at number five. A sweet looking couple broke into their local zoo at night to catch some pokies. I was just hanging out with my friend. We were playing Pokemon Go at Walbridge Park and we were just like, hey, I got a crazy idea. Let's hop the fence. The woman also incriminated herself days before on Facebook by saying, I'm not above breaking and entering to catch a Pokemon. Luckily, they were caught and arrested before they could get themselves eaten by lions or beaten to death by primates. It's actually primate, Doug. I know, Dan. It's a little Pokemon joke. Well, I wouldn't know. Never played it. But anyway, that ends our list. This has been Doug and Dan's Clickbait Countdown on 92.2 WGTR. Don't forget to like and share the vid, and remember to be careful out there when you're walking around enjoying the wonderful world your smartphone has to offer.